you know, the local media has an agenda that they're going to serve. I don't know who's in charge of it or what it is, if it's like a headless monster. You know, I was pretty happy with that one in Gerbils the other night. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a good pizza. <laughs> yeah. Fat wallets and empty hearts. Which... Fat wallets empty hearts. It's insane how little musicians get. So, um, yeah, if, if, if you're interested in support, not just me, but any musician that you like, one of the best ways to do that, it sounds old school because it is, is purchase their music, uh, purchase their merch, you know. Uh, hey guys, this is Mark from Rat Rod. Hi, this is Mikey P from Skell. Hey, this is Jeff from the Bell Jumpers. Probably just be, I mean, probably be cool, because he's awesome. This is Jessica for the band Dimitis. You're listening to Pennsylvania Rock Show. What's up, everyone? You are tuned in to episode 716 of the Pennsylvania Rock Show. Coming at you from music from the 412 out of Pittsburgh. Build the scene, also out of Pittsburgh. XRP Radio from the highlands of Scotland there in Glasgow. Um. Rudru Radio coming from Texas and California and 107.1 FM and megarockradio.net, both out of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, you just heard three tracks. They were Eris Paul Saboteur, Shattered Deceit, and Dream the Heavy Flame. And with me tonight is Paul from Dream the Heavy. Hey, hey what's happening, Bill? How are we tonight? I- I'm doing well. How are you? Well, I'm doing fantastic, man. Thank you again for... Having us, uh, well, having me on here. I know last time it was Sully and TK. Uh, and I'm I'm excited to be here, and thank you for playing Flame. That was uh, that's very gracious of you. I I am going to do something that I don't normally do, and I'm also going to play until tomorrow in the next break. Usually, only play one. <laughs> oh, why? Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's that's very flattering. We greatly appreciate that. Um, so we were talking a little bit off the air about mm-hmm. um, Beast of the Berg two. Um. Yeah, that was my that was... first time at stage AE. Um, probably I know I see that face. <laughs> <laughs> like um, ever? Yeah. Whoa. That. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. I well, thought that's that's really flattering. Then. Uh, keep in mind, I also live in Armstrong County, so I did cross a bunch of bridges, and you know how that goes. Nobody wants to cross bridges. <laughs> there's a, there's a bridge or two around here, from what uh, yes. from what I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I, but, I love stage e and and that was my first time actually in the club portion of it uh I, i'm typically in either the theater or the outdoor area but i was massively impressed with how the how well it sounded uh how well it was run and the entire show was probably one of our one of our highlights of uh of playing live i, I we we are we rode that adrenaline high for weeks it was a uh, it was a fantastic job, uh, and uh, all kudos to uh, Chip Dominic as well for putting that on. I, I have to tell you, um, when you guys were up on stage, I went over to Rocky and I knew that there was still an opening on one of the Rock for Life shows that he was doing. I was like, "You need to go ask them." He's like, "I already did." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Okay." <laughs> oh, that's that's that that really warms my heart. You know, we we. Have been putting in a lot of work to get to where we are now and to further ourselves along. Um, so yeah, and and coming f- and and that kind of endorsement from somebody who deals with multiple genres of music and m- gets to see multiple bands that that's that's really fantastic. So thank you again. You're welcome. I'm I'm excited. I'm not excited that it. This can sound terrible. I'm not excited mm-hmm. that it's a Penn Brewery, not because okay. it's a Penn Brewery. Because again, I live in Armstrong County. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so where where would you want it? Where where's like the ideal place for you to have this sort of thing? Because I'm I'm unfamiliar with Armstrong County, and if there are any venues, I mean, we we would certainly want to play. Um, hmm. you could look into Heroes Bar and Grill in Katanning. Um, okay. that is actually the drummer from Borstal Boys is in another band called um, A Common Crown, and. The bass okay. player yeah. from A Common Crown and the singer own Heroes Bar and Grill. Now, I believe uh, a, a friend of mine, Jay, is, is in A Common Crown. I'm, I'm uncertain, though. I yes. Believe, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Him and I him and I have done some uh, musical trades. He is a phenomenal person. And uh, 
yeah, shout out to Jay and shout out to a common crown. Yeah, Jay's in nice. a bunch of bands too, so I understand why you weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it I couldn't recall if if that was one of the many things that he was doing. Um, but I do recognize that name. I know I've seen them on on uh the socials. Uh, and I, and yeah, Jay's, Jay's a, Jay's a heck of a dude. I, I, I appreciate that guy a lot. So I'm trying to remember some of his other bands. He played in after the fall with them as well mm -hmm. with Matt and Steve. Um, uh, there's, I can't think of them. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. terrible. It's all right. I'm actually, we, we play them I'm, all the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm in, uh, in Cheswick Springdale. So it's, it's, uh, not too far of a jaunt to get out to Catanning. So I'll, I'll look into something right, right down 28 for you. Really literally right yeah. down 20. I'm right off 28. And uh, fortunately uh, TK and I are, are fairly close. So maybe we both can head out there and see what's going on. I am. Um, I teach in new Kensington. So oh, I'm, oh, I'm not far from you. <laughs> not, not at all. Not at all. And that place has seen a, a pretty strong resurgence over the last uh, year or so too. Yeah, there's That's a funny. couple of, couple of breweries there in town mm -hmm. that that book bands as well and, i i know and, that there's and the strange blind roots. pig saloon <laughs> yeah uh there's that uh strange roots i know voodoo and i know that uh there is a wrestling school down there as well um 880 i think is what it's called it's ran Not by I, I believe it's ran by a wrestler by the name of mv young who also wrestles for enjoy wrestling uh which i have some friendly ties to as well so yeah new new kin's awesome i i enjoy new kin um i'm trying to think what else is in that area there's the um in the summer they have a couple festival like shows to, to raise money for the um, community parks um and of course i can't remember the name of those off the top of my head right now but rock rock and roosevelt is one and i can't remember what the other one's called mm. I, a friend of mine runs a uh, a pop up store out there, like a pop up antique store out there too. Uh, and uh, I forgive me, Karen, I cannot recall it, but Karen's amazing. She runs it with her uh, a granddaughter in law, and her grandson is actually in a in a band. Is a drummer in a band called the Ghost Club, who is making their first national tour and playing at Mister Small's on the twentieth. So uh yeah, if you're free, go check that out too. They're they're a phenomenal band. They have opening for them is another band called Jack Swing, who is awesome. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely awesome. I feel like I, I talk I, about other bands more than I talk about my own band. I, I, I <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> I'm in no rush though. No, not my, at all. My daughter uh, now I can't remember the name of the band, but my daughter decided that she wanted to go see a show at Mr. Smalls, one of the twins. Mm -hmm. And I think they both want to go now. And I was excited. And then I listened to it and it's not, it's not a band that I would go out of my way to see, but it's also not one that I'm going to turn off. Gotcha. So I, was like, gotcha. So so I, it, I, I think, I think I'm in and, and I think my wife is going. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it something that you could do laundry to? So you can, you don't really have to focus it, but it's not, uh, intrusive yeah. to what it's, intrusive to your own energy so it's, it's okay yeah like it, it it if it came on the radio i wouldn't change the, the station you know what I, if if 90 percent of the people will say that about us i am absolutely stoked <laughs> <laughs> um I, the the one song is almost swing which i was very surprised okay. that my 13 year old daughters were like this is what we like but um especially um Emmeline likes bands local bands like Neo Stem and 13 Occult so like heavier okay. grungier bands yeah and then and then Bria likes bands like um uh yeah Black Ridge and Doppler Effect kind of okay. rock and the Borstal Boys but apparently they meet in the middle it it swing <laughs> all right I mean, I, I, it's 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 a danceable genre. Uh, Thirteen Occult we played with uh, at a Battle of the Bands uh, a number of years back, and uh, that guitar player is incredible. Just just a fun, just a talented talented person. And then Blackridge, I I could talk about Blackridge for a while. Joey, it, Joey Paul, and uh, I, I 
I think their singer's name is Paul as well. Yes. Uh, absolutely entertaining. Joey and I talk as much as we possibly can. He is another phenomenal guitar player. I watch his YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I, I, I really enjoy Black Ridge. And later on in the summer, we have a show with them. Uh, I think July 12th at Club July 12th. Cafe. Look at that. Oh, look at you. <laughs> look at you, Bill. Nice. Yeah. It's uh, them and uh, our, our great friends, Three Leagues to Rome. So that's going to be that's going to be a barn burner, man. That's we don't even know what the lineup really is going to be. Maybe we'll just draw names out of a hat and <laughs> see see what goes on from there. Their new single, Sweat, I don't know if you've heard it. Um, the album cover has seven individual photos of the band members. Um, I took four of them. Oh, did you now? <laughs> I did. Nice. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. Did you get credit? Um. Oh, <laughs> We, we had that conversation. <laughs> um, sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to bring it up. Uh, well, but you, no, got no, credit, like, you got credit now. You, you're now the, established. Like it wasn't, it wasn't a, there was, there's no, let me see. Paul sends me stuff. I heard the song sweat as a demo, like the demo he took to the band. I oh, heard wow. his demo. Like I get that kind of stuff from him all the time. So it was, okay. it was like, we had a conversation after the fact. And he's like, listen, man, we wanted to put it. They're, they're planning on doing it as vinyl and nice. getting nope. anything added to the cover on top of what they already have um, was not cost effective. And he was like, we'll just tell everybody. I'm like, OK, tell everybody. <laughs> Are they doing the Lee Vestal thing? Uh, they there? have done that. They have done that. Um, OK. In fact, we have one um, one of those. Over there, okay. <laughs> it's over I can there. see it. I can see it over there. Yeah, it's the big shiny one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. How about we? We'll take another break and we'll talk about okay. your band first break, and then we're going to talk about your band in the second segment. Uh, let's uh, let's spend a little bit of time with Dream to Heavy. Thank you, Bill. All right. So here's what we're going to do on the video side. I'm going to give away some tickets, and I am going to also. Uh, tell you about some tickets here we go so i have the show coming up um i have it there is a show coming up on the 6th it's luca x resistor luca and resistor and and um designed the curse at uh the smiling moose you can tell i was really prepared for this today um smiling moose on april 6th uh doors are 6 6 30 p.m is show time um, price is $12 to $15 if you are not winning these tickets. Um, this one was a weird one. Usually, we have a handful of people to sign up to win tickets, but only one person signed up for this one, and they signed up like three times. So instead of putting my will up there and spinning it with the same name on there a bunch of times, I'm just going to tell Nikki Praza that she is the winner. Um, if you are interested in... Um, trying to win some more tickets from us, the courtesy of Dresky Entertainment. Watch this video. It'll tell you what we have coming up next and how to win. Hey, everyone. It is Bill. I'm here to update you on the Dresky Entertainment ticket giveaways here on Music from the 412. We'll start off with three brand new ones. We have Jesse Dayton with the Regal, Regal Suite on April 10th at Jurgles. We have a 1,000 Horses with special guest Dinner Bell Road. April 11th. Those tickets will be given away during the eclipse on Monday the 8th. Uh, Rocky will be handling that. Uh, that is also at Jurgles. We have Attila, Born of Osiris, the Angels and Villains Tour, plus Traitors, Extortionists, Not Enough Space, April 16th at um, Preserving Underground in New Kensington. Justin Fabus with the Borstal Boys and Mary Hours at the Craft House Stage and Grill on April 26th. Noble Hops with um, Half Will and special guest One Eyed Daddies at Jurgles on May 1st. Little Miss Nasty with Whitney Payton at the Craft House Stage and Grill May 9th. Amy Grant at Carnegie of Homestead Music Hall May 14th. Orgy and Cold at Jurgles on May 22nd. And Mr. Joe Jackson solo in the music of Max Champion at the Palace Theater on May 28th. To enter, all you have to do is click on the event that you would like to attempt to win tickets for. Scroll down to where it says share this event. Click on Facebook. You're going to tag both music from the 412 and Drusky Entertainment. You fill out this form right here. 
by putting in your first and last name, your email address, verifying that you shared and tagged both pages, and hit submit. It's as easy as that. That information is only saved for this event. Once we figure out uh, who the winner is, it gets deleted, and that information is no longer on file. We use it for nothing else. With that said, make sure you join me Monday nights at 9 p.m. on the Pennsylvania Rock Show to see if you have won. Get my screen correct here and get Paul back up with me. (laughs) Okay, so you're going to have a tough job because usually after I play a song, I, I do the MTV moment where I ask people to tell me about the song, and you have to tell me about two songs. (laughs) Not a problem. Easy. Okay. Easy, easy. Yeah. Yeah. uh, Yeah. So Flame first and then Until Tomorrow? Yes, please. Sure. Yeah, not a problem. Um, So Flame, we played at the top of the show, and so it's been a little while since they heard that one. But tell tell us something about that one. So Flame uh, started how 90% of our songs start. Uh, Matthias has an idea. He just kind of plays it. And uh, then all of us, after the initial uh, enjoyment of it all, start throwing different ideas to kind of write it and kind of process it. So he was playing, if if I recall correctly, and and I'm going to get called out on this if not, but I believe he was playing the riff. We had asked him to speed it up. Uh, and when he sped it up, it had this drive and, and to myself and speaking of my own mind, it had, it felt like, like a, uh, I, I, I'm from Oakland, California. So it felt like an East Bay kind of punk thing that I really resonated with. And we have a lot of songs that are very movement based, very ethereal. This one is just a straightforward rock song. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing that, uh, requires too much of in, in the way of dynamics, uh, and Sully just absolutely crushes it on drums as well. So we, we got to that. We did this, we wrote it, um, and Sully actually wrote the lyrics to it. Uh, and it, it, it's depicting of, uh, it, it's based in kind of like Greek mythology and, adding ryan later on ryan put in a lot of key parts to it that really mimicked the bass so that allowed me to kind of do something that i don't normally do and kind of made something very staccato and stick it out and with all that together you have this really rock driven song it sounds like something you want to drive fast to and that that i I love that kind of that kind of feeling um and TK does what TK does. He comes in and he adds this really epic and thimic howl. And when, when TK is there and he gets that howl going, the energy in the room shifts and it just it grows. And it's like it's like a, a, a building of fire. So flame to me uh, certainly is our, one of our heavier rocking songs. Uh, uh, wow, I can't believe I actually described the song as heavy rocking. Uh, but it is, it is, and it, it it's very driving. Uh, and I and I absolutely love it. And we decided to put it out as a single. Um, we went in when we, we recorded our album, uh, Into the Unknown, and it is recorded, produced, mixed, and somewhat kind of orchestrated by Bent Alexander who uh, is a guitar player for Action Camp, guitar player for Saint Dude, uh, Soundman Extraordinaire, and actually hosts uh, Pittsburgh Punk live at a number of different venues on, like, I think it's the first Monday. So back to Flame. That's what it is with Flame. Um, yeah, I, that, I, I, I love that song. And it's got, on the record, it's got a very, dare I say, Bauhaus sort of opening to it because it allows it to breathe before it builds into the song the single itself kind of just starts with like one scratch and it goes right into it but on the album it's going to have a buildup of different feedback different scratching uh, a little bit keys to it 
Uh, and when we perform it live, uh, TK has a very monotone, quiet spoken word thing. So it, it's all about building it up. You know, you, you want to, you want to feed the fire, um, so to speak. And I, yeah, <laughs> that, that would, that would be flame, you know? <clears throat> and what about surrender? What can you tell us about that track? Or I'm sorry. Like cheap trick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try that again until tomorrow. I'm reading my head. So the song we're gonna play since I did that, the song we're gonna play after this is uh, as I speak, surrender, which I have written okay. right under until okay. tomorrow. I apologize. Right. That's all right. That's all right, man. This is uh this is a good conversation. That's all it is. So <laughs> we'll go with until tomorrow. Um until tomorrow is an anomaly. So I've I've actually had that riff in my mind. Uh, for a f- number of years since I was playing back in the Bay Area, and I've tried to write it with other bands, and it never really came to uh, fruition with with any of that. Uh, and then one day, I was just kind of clanking around on the bass, and it was it was uh, TK Matthias and I. Uh, I think that night, Sully ha- had gone to a show, uh, and this was prior to Ryan joining the band. And we just sat there and we wrote that song. We we hammered it down. We we added the changes. We changed the key. We kind of wrote everything that one night with just the three of us. Um, and then Sully comes in and he does what he does. Uh, and added a really unique take on drums. Something that was more, dare I say, kind of, kind of tribal-esque. And it really allowed us to build uh, a little bit more of an ethereal vibe to it, something a little bit more atmospheric. And again, with Ben's Alexander, he came in and he tweaked those few things here and there and really kind of guided us into a way that brought us until tomorrow. Um, And then once it was all done and Ryan came into the studio, he just hammered out the keys and the piano and it really made that song. It really filled that out. His vocals on there are incredible. So when you listen to it, uh, you hear TK singing the lead. But if you listen to it, you can hear the harmonies behind TK. And there's just probably about four of them. Every one of them is Ryan Miller. The, and and he's, he's just a a force to be reckoned with vocally. Whether it's doing... Uh, harmonies, uh, melodies. He's got a incredible metal voice. I've heard him do gutturals. I heard him do fries. He 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 is a secret weapon, but not so secret weapon because he's Ryan Miller on keys. Um, so until tomorrow, really added up to that, and that's that's where it built up to. And uh, I can't really speak. On the lyrics and where it is, but I can say uh, that one of the refrains, TK says, Into the Unknown, and that resonated with us really, really deeply because it just kind of gives it that whole like traveling, whether it be spiritual, whether it be mental. Um, but that's what we named the album, was Into the Unknown. And it's a, uh, it was our second single that we put out. And we we adore it there's there's it and we're very fortunate that we haven't burnt down on any of our own songs just <laughs> yet <laughs> whether it's uh us being uh having just a a smidge of narcissism uh but we love it and i i, I personally enjoy playing it um it's one of the more exciting songs for me because it just kicks in with bass and drums and from the go it's just there and I think a lot of modern music is missing that like really strong bass driven thing. Uh, I, you know, I, and I appreciate that. I, I really, I really like that. That's being a bass player. That's, that's what it is. So yeah. Un, un, until tomorrow. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to ask you two what I call Pennsylvania rock show questions. Cause let's do not. it. And then we're going to take another break, but yeah, these, these two have kind of, one of them I call the official build the scene question and the other We're one official. Is quickly, if quickly I'm official become, with the question, let's go for it. Yeah. 
the, the second one is quickly becoming the unofficial build the scene question. Um, okay. Actually, I'm going to ask that one first because it goes Let's along with it. what we were discussing the song and, and a little bit of songwriting. And, and mm -hmm. the question, now that I've built it up that way, you're going to go, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is the best Throw pizza me, you man. Best pizza you've had because you're a musician. So it could be at a at a writing when you're writing or at a gig or on your way to or from a gig or something along those lines. Uh I easily that's an easy answer for me. Um I don't know if it's there any longer, but it would be fat slice pizza on telegraph in Berkeley, California. Um they're they're not the best. They're not uh the place isn't clean, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's it doing really well for them. If they're still <laughs> no, there, <laughs> if, if they're still there, they know who they are. <laughs> they know who their audience is and they know who to cater to. <laughs> they're right by people's park and they've been there for decades. Uh, but they have a slice of pizza. That is a veggie slice of pizza. Uh, that is absolutely to die for, uh, whether it was, um, prior bands I was in playing gigs and going there, because they were opened up late uh playing gigs and going there going to the greek theater to see lots of bands uh that that is that is definitely my my favorite of all uh if it, if it's pittsburgh i haven't had my favorite pittsburgh pizza yet i'm i'm willing to try every pizza in pittsburgh just to see <laughs> which one is my favorite uh i will i will admit that i have uh eclectic tastes when it comes to toppings of pizza my favorite honestly is uh pineapple and jalapeno come at me i i think pineapple is absolutely perfect on pizza i will i, I will ride that team i have not had pineapple and pizza since college but i have <laughs> definitely it, not had pineapple and jalapeno together <laughs> dude dude this it's it's the it's the acidity uh, i guess i like i like the the acidic sort of thing which could probably stand for berkeley too <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah man it's just uh, the heat the sweet the tomato the cheese and it's just it's just a, an absolutely debaucherous culinary delight for me <laughs> and if anybody I, in pittsburgh wants to send us some pies man we'll we'll, we'll we'll happily oblige i will say uh lenova down the road is is actually really nice too all right, so the other question is, who is your Dave Grohl? And by that, I mean, who do you want to go up on stage with and play one of their originals? So, like, they're pulling you up out of the crowd. Yeah, only one? Just one. <laughs> Speaking in the moment and who it would be right now, uh, it would be Annie Clark, St. Vincent. I I don't think... Annie Clark has written a song that I haven't enjoyed. Each one of her albums is diverse. She is a phenomenal songwriter, uh, exquisite singer. I know that she's actually putting out another, a new album here soon uh, that Dave Grohl actually plays on. However, her album Mass Seduction uh, is probably one of my favorite albums of all time. So mm -hmm. Annie Clark, definitely. St. Saint, Saint Vincent is otherworldly to me all right so we're going to take another break we're going to listen to the song i accidentally mentioned already um, as i speak surrender and we'll be right back when it comes to hot rock and metal the blast furnace still burns with doc rock on metal shop 101 join host doc rock on his mission to get the best heavy music in the burn spread across the world featuring artists from pittsburgh's own rock scene Metal Shop 101 is dedicated to giving local and unsigned bands the airplay they deserve. Catch new shows live every Monday and Wednesday on Music from the 412. Explore the underground of Pittsburgh with John Ballistic's Underground Jukebox. Tune in Thursdays at 8 as radio host John Ballistic dredges the three rivers and beyond to bring in the best music you've probably never heard. With a focus on regional rockers old and new, the Jukebox shares music from unknown musicians of varying locales and genres to the Berg and beyond. Catch the latest shows on Music from the 412 or on demand on Roku. Hey 
Yeah, we were back. That was As I Speak and his track Surrender. Um, I do want to change things up here momentarily, so just bear with me. Those of you on the radio side aren't going to get to see it, but hopefully. Oh, okay. look at that. Now. Uh, <laughs> uh, quick shout out to John Ballistic. That, that gentleman has supported us for quite a long time. Underground jukebox is amazing. I just I I know you know he's he's part of the uh, music from four one two family, but a personal heartfelt thank you from myself and Dream to Have You, John. Yeah, he's every Wednesday. No, I'm sorry, every Monday he sends me a reminder on which show I'm supposed to upload to a place correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was here because I, I I would like to meet him in person, but I know he's in uh, some other state. He's in or... Colorado in colorado yeah um, i have met him i met him at um oh Mill millville music fest i think is where i it was either that or it was the north side what was that uh, music festival Mil is either I, millville never, oh, okay never heard side. of millville music festival what is that i'm, I'm kidding. um okay yeah, I'm so kidding. i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> let's do it anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right let's nah, do it anyway all that's right. not that's <laughs> if you're not listening if you have no idea mm -hmm. just google it it's a huge festival in millville um, closer to Paul than it is to me, but still really cool. I have been there twice so far. <laughs> it's easy, it's easily the best music festival in Pittsburgh. I will, I will, I will say that, and I will sign it on the line. Uh, the people that run it, the people that work for it, the bands that network there. We have met so many great people who work behind the scenes uh, and and have played. Uh, I think the gentleman's name is Paul. I know there's Sarah and I know that Kristen from paging Dr. Moon's now on the board. So they do a phenomenal job. I, I love everything. Millville, Millville music festival. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to see if I can do it. Uh, wrong one. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> Let me switch. Hopefully right. it'll pop me up. There we go. There we now go. You can see me repeating over and over again, mm -hmm. but I'm going to fix that in just a moment there. All right. So now we see the Dream the Heavy website, and I'm going to put it into full screen mode, and then I'm going to let Paul talk about their upcoming shows. All right. Okay. All right. So let's see. The first one we have is our record release, actually, April 12th at Spirit. Uh, and that's going to be one, one amazing event. So we have bands joining us, uh, the band Melt who is a three-piece powerhouse from Pittsburgh, uh, featuring J.J. Young, who was in Fortune Teller and in, uh, was, was part of the Still City Death Club uh, and Daisy Chain for a while. And they just put out a, uh, a killer version of, uh, of a Stone song, and the name escapes me right now. Anyhow, check them out. The other band that's joining us uh, is Old Game who I got to see at uh, Preserving Underground uh, during the Normal Creatures uh, Presents on Nosferatu. Normal Creatures did a, their own soundtrack to the silent film Nosferatu. Old Game opened that, and I fell in love with what they're doing. Uh, heavy, uh, alternative, and just phenomenal, phenomenal players. The drummer's in incredible. We also have a DJ set by Brutalism, which is a monthly goth uh, DJ set. They do it at Belvedere's and at Mixtape. And actually, the night after that, they're going to be at Mixtape. And then uh, audio, or not audio, visuals by uh, Fluxophile. And this is going to be his debut gig to it. It's at Spirit, so we have all that. And then, uh, then we're heading out to Akron, Ohio, at the Rialto Theater, where we'll be playing with uh, the other doors, formerly Candace and Pink Masquerade. Uh, the Rialto is something that I've been trying to get us into for a while. And thanks to uh, Mike Park, uh, who promotes bands out of Cleveland, Akron, and now Milwaukee, uh, he's been instrumental in in helping Dream the Heavy get into these places. Uh, and thank you to Jude from the Rialto for doing that as well. And then I think, uh, I oh, what's our next one? Uh, uh, remedy june 14th so yeah remedy with with megan of moonshine jasmine and also rebel revolver i've never played remedy 
Um, I'm uncertain what it is or how it is, but I'm excited for it. And then uh, July 12th at Club Cafe, like we spoke uh, spoke of before with the mighty Black Ridge and uh, our homies in Three Leagues to Rome. We have some more things coming up down the line, too, that aren't on the website. Uh, I, I'm just going to say it. I believe on, Octo- on August 26th, we'll be playing uh, the WDBE Morning Show with Randy. And we have uh, some other things in work and we're trying to get something in, I think in September and then also another thing in October, but those are still in the works. We're trying to play as much as possible and hopefully we get that Millville thing. That would be, I mean, we we already (laughs) talked about that. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Um, And then hopefully another show at Poetry Lounge. I I really enjoy playing that particular venue. It is intimate, but it feels like home. And so does Club Cafe and certainly Smalls at this point. And I hope and 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 I'm hope I don't shoot myself in the foot by saying this, but by mid by early fall, uh, we're hoping to work on another winter wonder ball. Uh, and last year when we put that on, it featured us, uh, back alley sound, normal creatures, and Hemlock for Socrates. And Hemlock for Socrates is one of the best bands around right now. Uh, they're out playing around. Uh, we love Keegan and Heather endlessly. Um, so we're hoping to do that again. So we're we're going to stay busy. And it tends to be that right now, a lot of the bands that we know are are dialing back how many times they play in Pittsburgh. But we we tried <laughs> and it just <laughs> failed. <laughs> like we just want to play. We want to get out there. We want to play. We don't want to burn out a, a, a fan base or anything, but we definitely definitely have that in us. And I think musicians and, and artists and creatives who are listening can can really echo that. Um, and we'd like to get out to Ohio a little bit more and maybe hit up Baltimore. There's a there's a band out there and a podcast that is uh, asked us to get out there. We have friends of Philadelphia. Uh, shout out to Cat Daddy on the bass and uh, <laughs> out there. He's if you like funk slap bass that is produced by a very very handsome and and articulate man that dude (laughs) is that dude that that dude is so kind and he's also in a band he plays in a band called minka who will blow your mind like to me and to tk they have a minneapolis style funk very prince centered but just so good so those are yeah those are our our gigs in in pittsburgh we have plenty of them but please come to april 12th because that is our record release we have cds printed we have special merch for that. Um, again, the band Melt uh, and the band uh, Old Game with us. So it, it, it's going to be a blast. And those tickets can be found on our website. Um, you can follow us on all the socials. Um, hit us up. DM us. Say hi. Dream, Tell us you heard this. Yeah. Dream, dream the heavy. The heavy.com. Dream the heavy. It's, 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 it's a unique name. <laughs> so we could actually, yeah, dream the heavy.com, but it's also dream the heavy on all the socials as well. Um, Hey, Paul, yeah. I, I don't I don't want to cut you off, but I do have no, to cut, cut me off, off. <laughs> because I no, I, I will ramble. <laughs> I'm really um, good at it. Yeah. So we're going to have two more tracks on this episode. Um, okay. They are Skies of Terra and Invis- Invincibility Codes, which is going to be the heaviest song that you hear on the show tonight. And then we're going to go out with the band from Ohio um, because I can. <laughs> Should. We're going to listen oh. to. Guy Snowden and the Citizens and their song Forgotten Heroes on our way out. Um, Paul, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Bill, we we greatly appreciate you and what you do for Pittsburgh. We hope to see you out at the uh, the show on April 12th. And uh, yeah, I, we I, I would love to be back on, but I, I think next time might have to be someone else, unfortunately. So <laughs> all of this lovely bass wizardry <laughs> is, is only for now at this point. It, all right, with that said, this is we're going off into the evening. And this is the first time that you've watched us live in about 20 minutes at xrpradio.co.uk, buildthescene.com slash radio, or music from the 412.com slash radio. You will get to hear this whole show, music and everything, as long as I get it all edited quickly, which I'm getting really good at. So we will see you next week. <laughs>